welcome back to another speed build. My name's Jess and today I'm building in Brindleton Bay on a 40 by 30 lot and today's build is a witchy Victorian home. I really wanted to kind of end out Halloween with something a little bit different for me and I haven't really ever done a big Victorian home ever. So this was my take on it and you can see here starting out with some difficulties roofing. I definitely had to do quite a bit of it off screen uh, just because it is a little difficult building on a, um, a diagonal. It's just, yeah, it's so weird sometimes, but I was able to figure it out and I really love how this home looks. Um, I actually started with a inspiration image that I saw on Pinterest to kind of get the shape of this home and I thought it was just really interesting how it kind of has... Um, like three different components to it. Yeah, and I just think that it looks really cool and is something really unique. And I love how this build turned out. It's definitely, it's probably one of my favorites of all my Halloween builds. So I'm happy to be ending off with it and hopefully you enjoy it as well. So you can see I'm adding in some of these details from Strangerville um, just to get that Victorian home like even even more like obvious <laughs> um, but I actually had a lot of trouble with it so I had to use the tool mod so again just building on a diagonal the sims game just does not like it <laughs> um, anyways so that's definitely going to be an issue throughout the video uh, uh, figuring out the layout and all of that was a little bit difficult but you can see we're starting on some landscaping and I wanted to keep this pretty traditionally Victorian I actually looked at images from a place called the Winchester Mystery House, which if you know about it, it's super interesting. If you don't, definitely take some time to look it up. Um, I don't think I'll be able to to like give those the story the justice it deserves, but it's really interesting, really bizarre kind of place. But it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And the, they have these beautiful gardens. I actually visited it um, a couple months ago. And uh, those gardens have just completely stuck in my mind. So I was looking at pictures to try and get that same vibe. And so a lot of it, it's really heavily manicured and um, really well cared for. So I wanted to have the same look with all the hedges. But I, of course, wanted to add in a little bit of a pond because there was space for it. <laughs> and I thought it would look really nice with this Victorian home kind of kind of I this house borders it's like a little spooky a little modern but still with um pretty traditional uh styling so definitely um a mixture of quite a few different things but I really love how it turned out but that's kind of what I was going for is having a little bit of a, a, a few things that are a little spooky a few things that are a little modern and a few things that are pretty traditional. So in the backyard, I kept it pretty simple because there wasn't a lot of space. But of course, wanting to add in that like manicured area and I did kind of mess up with the hedge here and I'll fix that a little bit later. But that's why the swing wouldn't fit uh, initially how how it's supposed to. And then this um, backyard space will change quite a bit. I add a pergola over it and I really think the pergola adds so much to this backyard. I love that pergola we got in the update a while back. Um, it's so beautiful and yeah, just worked so well. And now what I did here was I guess you would call it a little maze, but there's only one entrance and I guess one exit that or the entrance and the exit are the same. So it's not really um, something your Sims can like do. <laughs> and um, but I just thought it would be like maybe a relaxing place where your Sims could walk around. And I thought a maze would just suit the vibe of this house, which I haven't mentioned. This house is meant for witches so or spellcasters. So there's three different bedrooms um, and all of them I kind of themed after sort of popular like a witch idea or witches who have been in like media and stuff like that. So you'll see a little bit later who I end up um, using as inspiration. But on the down the first floor, I wanted there to be, um, a, again, that mix of modern and traditional. So this is, I would say, a more modern kind of house. 
um, in the the first story. And I really, really love how it turned out. And in this living room, I was so happy to use the new um, Desert Lux curtains. I've hardly used them. And they were just so perfect to really bring home this like architectural window detail. I just, yeah, really ended up loving it. And this living room, it's pretty simple, but I just think turned out so, so beautiful. And I'm so happy um, with kind of how things were starting off, um, I think looked really nice. And in the dining room, I went ahead and did a shelf all the way around this this entire area and just decorated it up with a lot of stuff. So I, of course, used a bunch of magic books because I thought that just would, of course, suit a witchy house. And also, they're so gorgeous. I love the detail on the books from Realm of Magic. Um, so you can see I just, of course, use the tool mod and do a bunch of scooting around <laughs> and um, get a nice book stack. And I move the book stack throughout the shelves there. And then I just clutter it up with quite a few different items to try and make it look a little bit more magical. So anyways, since this is my Halloween, my last kind of Halloween themed build, um, I hope that you end up having a good Halloween if you're watching this on the day and maybe if you have any fun plans definitely feel free to let me know. I am definitely a huge homebody so I will be staying at home maybe watching a scary movie but I am kind of a wimp when it comes to scary movies. I like them but I am like the person who will turn away and watch like 50% of the movie uh, because I'm hiding my eyes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me know what plans you have and maybe you're spending some time playing The Sims on uh, Halloween. That would be kind of fun. Hopefully this um, build will work really well in your game. And of course, this works outside of like the autumn season in, uh, uh, Sim in The Sims 4. But I think just kind of kind of suits it pretty well for having a witch kind of I guess you could call this like a witch coven house, but it's definitely um, set up for a family to live here. Um, and you'll see a little bit later on kind of how that works out. But in the kitchen, you can see this is where I really went with more modern kind of take. And I just wanted to go for a really nice black and white color scheme. And I think it turned out so nice. It's just nice and crisp and clean. And I think really looks like, you know, a witch's kitchen. So um, here you can see we're starting off in the first bedroom. And I will say I mentioned how the layout was a little bit difficult. Um, so this is definitely a really long, wide room that I had some difficulties figuring out what items to put in it, but I ended up loving it. And so this is supposed to be kind of the master bedroom. And it's themed after more of your just traditional black hat kind of witch. Um, so I kind of wanted this to be the person who owns the house and match it in with the style that I did kind of on the bottom floor and really ended up loving that. So there is only one bathroom up here and then there's one half bathroom downstairs, which I forgot to record. Um, but I really like how this turned out and I, again, wanted it to broach that like modern and traditional kind of look. But yeah, really ended up loving it. And I really love, I used those curtains from high school years and they work so well as a wall detail when you um, size them down. So definitely a hot tip if you need um, kind of a tapestry, macrame sort of wall detail, you can use it. So this room is actually one that's like, a personal favorite from my childhood. This is Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and this is the older, styled after the older series um, that I watched. <laughs> so uh, you could see, it, I think some of it you can tell is a little bit older in its style, but I just love it. And of course, this is perfect for a teenager's room. And I did, of course, have to add Salem in there. And I love how it turned out. And now this one is based off of another childhood favorite for me. So it's not like maybe the most popular, but it's witches who were important to me growing up. Um, but this is from 
this is Wendy from Casper and Wendy. Um, so Hillary Duff, you know, an icon and legend. <laughs> so I had to add in a little Casper. And we're coming to the sort of magic room upstairs, but that actually means we're coming to the end of the video. So I want to thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. It just means the world to me. I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Have a happy Halloween. Bye.